Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Putzarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling of the cards guys uh, <clears throat> again I want to remind you that uh, this is just a, a general reading for Gemini Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, as uh, the holidays are coming around, uh, <clears throat> there is a um, special deals going on uh, with me and my services. Simply, the prices of the 20 minutes and the 30 minutes are abated. So, 20 minutes costs. $35 down from 40 and the 30 minutes is $45 down down from 55 so that being said going to the tarot spread of the week for you Gemini's now this is going to be an enhanced spread and uh, enhanced spread literally means that we're going to use multiple cards on one position and uh, as you can see here at the first card that it is the um, topic of your week we do have the ace of cups which generally speaks that this is going to be quite an amusing week and very very thrilling and exciting because the ace of cups it does represent uh, those kind of a circumstances usually uh, happening out of the blue which are making a lot of our worries and, and, and a lot of our problems in general completely irrelevant either because you know it is given to us a, a different fulcrum that we can focus on you know a different thing that we can look forward to and etc etc um, which again it does make the current uh, predicaments not that severe at all uh, the accompanied card of it is going to be the knight of swords and it does look like that this is going to be more like a leaning toward not wanting to um, deal with shenanigans throughout the week as um, as you will not have to now very difficult to explain it but let me give you that specific example someone from your social circle is kind of ta taunting you to get into a wrangle with them all right and these cards here as a topic are pointing that you would rather will not want to involve into those wrangles but you know the um, use that time um, instead of you know going into that confrontation into experiencing more pleasant things like going in a coffee with a different friend of yours and etc etc it's kind of like this week is going to be where you are avoiding a um, you know despondent situation poignant circumstances and etc etc with a, a great success now this doesn't mean you know that you are kind of like escaping Mm, responsibilities or you are slacking on your tasks and etc etc these uh, <clears throat> these poignant circumstances are going to be completely irrelevant to uh, your future advance and for your future development they are like a, a peripheral things which you know one from pride could uh, invest in while in this specific week as we do have the knight of swords for you which is the quick judgment here and then and the tenacious drive forward it is making colder and colder the um the ace of cups which points that you are to focus more upon having fun and upon having yourself you know emotionally fulfilled than to prove things into other people which in generally does not deserve that now these cards here of course you know as one see them we see a knight of swords and the ace of cups and then and, and people could think oh my god that could be someone that loves me you know i mean we do have a court card and the ace of swords 
uh, yes, yeah, it could be a, a sign that that will be an appearance of a person who can't get involved emotionally involved with uh, with you because the because uh, the king a uh, knight of swords excuse me doesn't have to be a male as well it could be it's a person all right it could be a female also uh but uh, they will not approach you you know because they have an emotional connection for you if you are happen to be approached by someone it is going to be because they see how bright you are and you know they want to just try it out with these cards here as a end elemental dignity co uh, collaboration we don't have a, a kind of very strong flow of emotions in between two people it is just look at it like this you are kind of like scoping that you and that person are scoping that you can have fun together and you can kind of share mutual interest in that <clears throat> in many fields and that's why you may start spending more time and of course from spending more time with one another that could be a prerequisite where one will start experiencing more emotional connection but again the emotional connection is going to happen as a prerequisite not as a something granted so um <clears throat> Literally, this is what the topic of your uh, of your week is. To uh, where you Gemini's are going to be prone to experience pleasant and uh, thrilling enterprises and events, rather than involve yourself into um, shenanigans and poignant circumstances. Now, the uh, core of the situation of why is that here? Now, we do have a, a very potent combination with the Eight of Pentacles followed by the two of cups and it is because uh, that could go a couple of ways all right now what we do have here it is a, a true love commitment all right uh, it does depend what your situation is now if you recently start dating with someone all right uh, these cards are pointing that the base of uh, the, the base uh, yeah, well, uh, let me systemize my my words here that the foundation you have built up with those uh, dates and with those interactions with these people or with that person are coming up to a um, topic you know where you are now start spending more and more time with one another remember here the topic points to uh, the topic starts from the current state where you are and this is going to be here a um, a sign that simply cannot go any better for now at least but if you start spending more and more time with one another then you can definitely you know improve the emotional connection in, in between you two but if that's the case the here we are seeing that the emotional conne connection is already very strong all right but nonetheless let's go with the general interpretation so eight of pentacles and two of cups it does point that you are that you have built um, a very how can I place it? a very solid domain of yours all right but most likely <clears throat> you have done recently so you or you have taken recently some actions in order to improve your working uh, your working space you have taken some actions to improve your personal space as well and you have really worked for it this is what is seen here with the uh, eight of uh, with the eight of Pentacles in the two of cups because those cards are pointing that this is very generic all right but they're pointing that you are to be determined or your determination you know to to consolidate on your belongings as blessings throughout this week and moving on forward with to the future is going to be your driving force that is going to make you not wanting to involve yourself into fraudulent schemes and into uh, as i said wrangles with people while they are not needed at all you know and etc etc it's kind of like think of it as that you are investing only into the necessary stuff <clears throat> to make improvements in uh, in your personal relationship into your personal uh, career as well but in the same time whenever you have a free um, a free space and free time uh, you are kind of investing into or involving yourself with only pleasant um, enterprises which you know someone may say well of course we all do that well we all don't do that at all for example 
let's say you go out with a bunch of people and uh, with a bunch of so-called friends, you know, let's say three of them, and one of those friends will start mourning and start whining about uh, how their life is tough and then, you know, how much troubles they got and etc, etc. And that creates a poignant experience and you are not obliged to listen to that. You can simply tell them, shut up. I don't want to use the middle word here. But yeah, uh, this is how you sap the... Um, the poignant experience that you may have, it is simply, it is that simple, you know, you have to be a little bit more, um, war, uh, you need to have a little bit more warfare when it comes to uh, intercepting those kind of events which may make, which may bring your spirit down. The third card points to the predicaments that you may face throughout the week. This is the, um, how can I place it, the challenges yeah, that are causing predicaments and we do have here someone uh, <clears throat> with the page of pentacles. So the king of swords with the page of pentacles. So that, that is someone that it is very um, narrow minded. All right. I also a, a quite uh, authoritarian person. What I mean is that this person does have connections, does have authority, and does have uh, how can I place it? It, it? it does have means necessary in order to make things happen. For some or another reason, you are to be dependent on this person. And the fact that we do have the page of pentacles here, it is a, a good thing because. <clears throat> That person itself uh, is to see that your way is the right way, but they are not going to admit it. So that is going to be the, the challenge that you need to overcome for throughout the week to make that person around you to admit that you actually your approach or your thesis here, your topic and etc, etc are the correct one. When we do have the page of pentacles, uh, when we do have a pentacle with a sword and especially if the sword is a... Uh, a main card here in the spread, the uh, the pentacle kind of, let's say, diminish severely the swords, um, the sword influence upon your life, and that means that as well, this person is going to be also mm, involved in peripheral activities that are not concerning you whatsoever, and that could also come as a predicament, all right, because you may need their help, you may need their devotion into your thing, now, for example, think of it, think of it like you do have a very important project into your career, and you need your supervisor to be around you, or your boss, or generally a person that it is above you into the ladder of the hierarchy, you need their approval, for example, or their involvement at all, but they are to have quite a lot of peripheral work that does not concern you, that they will have a little time for you, and this is where you need to uh, convince them in one way or another that there is nothing more important than uh, than your project and same goes you know for your relationship that could be your partner or the person we talked here and now they are finding themselves occupied with their peripheral activities that are not involving you and in the same time as we said here you will have to spend as much time as you um, as you can with them so you need to kind of make a point that uh, there is nothing more important right right now unless vital, all right, than spending time with one another and you need to make your point about that. <clears throat> so, uh, what we see uh, throughout this uh, this week for you, just before we go to the guidance here, is, is that your week, Geminis, are going to be, is going to involve many other individuals, you know, either a society or a person, definitely we are to have a person here that you will want to have around you, either because you have to convince them in something or you need to make their life easier and etc, etc. But yeah, it's it's definitely not going to go, um, you are not going to move on forward throughout this week on your own. And again, it, what is important is to lean more toward experiencing pleasant and emotionally fulfilling uh, enterprises than... <clears throat> investing yourself into events which are poignant to you. This is going to be 
your choice. Also, all the foundations or all the prerequisites you you will need are going to be there for you to to spend the week in a, a very very emotionally fulfilling way. And the last card that we do have here as a guidance, this is the Sun card, and the Sun it is pointing that you got to also as a guidance. All right, you need to make a, a peace, or you should aim to make a peace with those that you have left in a ill term with. Also, the Sun card is advising you not to push way too hard um, <clears throat> and not to be much tenacious. All right, uh, because the Sun card it is one of the uh, strongest cards about influencing our lives in a such a way that things are unfolding very, very naturally. So that being said, you should, you know allow the situation to unfold naturally and you need you always need to aim for a natural advance and uh, just to support it with an, an example here um, let's say that you want to date with someone all right or you want to be with someone that is completely irrelevant to the previous cards but I want to give you an example with the Sun card so you can uh, have a little bit more of an understanding about the natural unfoldment that it is representing alright so you want to be with someone but they doesn't want to be with you and yet you are pushing and pushing into that direction so you're pushing into something that it is completely unnatural even if it happens alright uh, even if you make them do it with one or another reason uh, it's it's not natural and you need to know as we are talking about love right now the love is free like like the wind you can try to block the wind you can try to even trap it but eventually the wind or the love in that case finds its way so you can't make someone love you you can't make someone to want you it is just you know that will be the natural uh, part so again and if you try to do it more and more and more we are coming here to the poignant experience you know because you see that they don't want to you are going to feel more and more poignant so instead of that guys focus again on those things which are making you feel pleasant <clears throat> and strain away from those uh, from those enterprises which are making you feel uh, bad and low in spirit so this is about the Sun card also this card it is asking you to work as much as you can because as a guidance it points that this week is very potent for monetary success so if you want to receive bonus at the end of the year you know that that may be the decisive week for you and etc etc and the accompanied card of it that is going to be the magician so it does point that you need to be um, how can I place it <clears throat> Uh, you need to uh, show your presence as a uh, or yourself as a, uh, as a example of resignation and of humbleness. Right? You gotta be humble about how the situations are and resigned about them. Again, if something bad is happening around you and you cannot do anything about it, stop thinking about it and just leave it that way and invest into something that is much better for you and much and making you feel much happier also these cards are pointing that you can make peace and terms and good terms with those which are finding yourself being rival with uh, <clears throat> by uh, using your exceptional communicational skills but the very least these cards are pointing that you need to maintain your personal sovereignty you know personal freedom and on top of that it is very strong here where you can uh, incorporate your iron will into your undertakings. So simply with these potent, with that potent a uh, combination as a guidance, the uh, the tarot is telling you, Gemini's, that if you focus in the right, the natural direction for yourself, well, nothing there is gonna stop you. So that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for you. They are to show us a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Let me shuffle them really well here. All right. So let's see what we got. 
Now the first card, this is going to be the uh, the stork. Now the stork stands for delivery, it stands for birth and also it stands for a, a new era. Then the next one that is going to be the bear. The bear stands for resources, it does stands for support, head strong and as well iron wield. And the last one this is going to be uh, the the letter, so the letter obviously stands for a letter, email, uh, you know, text message, and etc. etc. So, uh, what I think that is going to happen here is, is that if you follow the guidance of the cards, all right, and you do whatever you can to show to this person that you know your undertaking is the, that your natural undertaking is the most important thing for you and for them, and etc. etc. You know, if you have followed the uh. 20 minutes star reading I told you then eventually you are to receive a, a message that is um, confirming that you are to get the resources and the support needed in order to proceed on forth with whatever you are trying to develop either personal re relationship either a, a project into your career a new service that you are to open for your business and etc etc whatever you are after here if you do it smart and you don't push into a uh, a direction with it that it is not meant for you right and how you're gonna spot it well if you're feeling poignant about it then that is not the direction you gotta push for with all right so yeah <clears throat> you are to receive somewhere along the uh, along the week a confirmation that you are to receive the support required so that being said gemini this was your uh, weekly tarot and lenormand reading for november uh, for december 10th to december 16th excuse me and i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for uh, gemini star sign and it was not your personal reading Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you do so, don't forget about the um, holidays special sales that regards to the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading with me. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.